Are you ready to learn English? Yes. yes. Okay. Today we are going to do simple activity first. All right. Now I want you to stand up. All right. Okay. Let's do a simple warm up activity. Let's breathe in, breathe out. All right. Why don't we clap our hands one time? Okay. Two times. Okay. Three times. Okay. Good job. All right. Ready to learn now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now, look at these word cards. Okay, can someone can someone mention the word to me? What is the word here? Yes, kicks. All right, kicks. 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 How do you kick something? Go kicks. 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 All right. Again, what is the word again, class? Kicks. Ooh, kick one now. Yes, good job. All right. So I'm gonna paste this word on the board. Kicks. All right. Are you ready for the second one? Yes. Yes. Good job. Okay, what is this? Sit. Sit. Louder, please. Sit. How do you sit? Yes. Good job. Okay, stand. I started the lesson with a simple activity, a simple total physical response activity, TPR, in some says, okay, where I ask the students to just stand up and then do the action. So I've chosen uh, 10 verbs and I asked the students to do the verb as they actually repeat the verb itself. The idea is to actually to arouse the students' interest and at the same time to make the association, the cognitive association to the students that verb is actually action words. Now I need you to pay attention to the board. Okay, all these words that you have learned just now, these are what we call action words. Repeat after me guys, action words. Yes, action words. Alright. Action words in English also known as verbs. Repeat after me, guys. Verbs. verbs. Repeat after me. Verbs. verbs. Yes, that's right. Let's look at the first slide here. All right, guys. Verb is a doing word or action word. Okay, now listen to me and look at my action. Okay, clap. <laughs> clap. That's the action. All right. If I say sleep, how do you sleep? That's right. If I say shout, how do you shout? One, two, three. Let's shout hooray. One, two, three. Shout hooray. 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 That's shouting. All right. Shout. So remember verbs, they are action words. Okay. For example, what are you doing right now? You are? Sitting. Sitting. You are? Sitting. Sitting and? That's right. Thank you very much. A verb is a doing word or an action word. Okay? Look at this picture. What is the girl doing? Pool. Pool. Yes. What about this one? Kick. Kick. What about this one? Fly. Fly. Good. What about this one? Blue. Yes, blue. What about this one? Blue. All right. Good. Okay. Now, moving on to the next slide. Sentences. Did you know that in English we can construct we can construct a simple sentence with a verb and with two other words? All right. Let's look at the example. If you don't get it, that's okay. I will show you the examples later. Hopefully, you can understand. All right. To construct a sentence, a simple sentence, we need a verb, an action word. A subject and an object. Alright, I repeat. A sentence in English, you need a subject, a verb and an object. Alright, what is a subject? Subject is who or what doing the action. Object is who or what receiving the action. Let's look at this picture. Okay, can someone tell me the verb? What is the verb of this action? Together class, one, two, three. Pool. Louder please, one, two, three. Together, shout the answer. Pool. pool. All right, let's check the answer. The verb is pool. Good. Now, who is this? Girl. Who is this? A girl. a girl or a man? A girl. 
So the subject is a a girl. What is she pulling? Yes, that's right. The object is a a rope. So now you have a sentence. A girl pulls a rope. Again, a girl pulls a rope. Show me pull. Do do the action. Good. All right. Can we try another one? Okay. Ah, very easy. Hold on. I want to ask someone from this class. Can someone tell me the action of the boy? Yes. Kick. Good job, Livia Sri. Okay, give her a big round of applause. Okay. The verb is kicks. All right. So who is kicking? Bo a boy. Good job. Another round of applause to the boy. Okay. So the one who does the kicking is a boy. Okay. Together, what is the object? Plus a ball. A, a ball. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, I need one volunteer. One volunteer. Okay. Come here. Okay. Okay. What is this action? Choose the word. All right. You can paste the verb here. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let's check whether his answer is correct or not. Okay, the verb is drives. Yes. Who is driving? A man. A man. All right. Drives what? He drives what? A a car. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Who would like to try and choose the verb for me? Ah, uh, yes. Uzma, come here. Good. Yes, good choice. All right. Okay. Who fly? Who fly the object here? Who? Can someone come here, volunteer, and write me the subject? All right. A girl. But hold on, Alia. Hold on. She's a girl, right? She's also a girl, right? How many girls now? Two, all right. Can we write two or a better? Which one is better? Two girls, right? Better. So can we change a to two? All right. We can. Two girls. Because you can see, right? One is flying. Another one is also flying a kite. All right. Okay, what's the object? All right. Good job. Okay. Two girls fly kites. Okay. When you look for the object and the subject, be careful, okay? Look at this picture. Okay, how many girls can you see? One girl, two girls. Yes, one girl, two, two girls. They are two girls. All right, how many kites as the object? Two. One kite, two kites. All right, so let's check the answer. Yes, the verb fly. Good job. Subject, two girls. The object, kites. Uh, it is crucial for the students to understand the simple concept of the word subject because subject it can subject can be a bit confusing because when we introduce subject just the who of the sentence it will be quite difficult to, uh, for the students to comprehend when they have to construct a sentence involving something which is not human for example like things so it is very important for a teacher to mention that subject is the who and the what uh, doing the action and then, of course, the verb itself is an action word. And then the object. The object, to me, is quite tricky to explain to the student because when we talk about, when we mention object to the kids, uh, students will immediately think of uh, things. So in my activity just now, the presentation stage, what did I do is that I give them samples, okay? I use pictures and I give them like examples on how, examples on how a sentence can be created or constructed based on that picture using the concept subject, verb and object. Now you have learned basically, you need a verb, then a subject and of course an object. Okay? Alright, we are going to do a simple group activity. I will divide you into groups of five. Okay? There will be five members in one group. Alright, okay. Remember your number, okay? One, two, three, Four, five. One, two, three, number four, and number five. Alright, okay. All the number ones. 
Number ones. Please gather yourself here. All the number ones here. Number twos here. Number three over there. Number four here. And number five. Okay, slowly get yourself organized. Okay, I'm going to give you a few things, all right? Each group, I have distributed a dictionary. Okay, this is a dictionary. Dictionary, all right? If you do not know the meaning of a word, you can look for the meaning here, okay? I will also give each group a piece of Manila card like this. I will explain to you what to do later, all right? For the timing, you just grab this. Don't do anything yet, okay? An envelope for each of the groups. Don't do anything yet, just wait for my instruction. In this envelope, there are word cards. Word cards. Okay? Now, open your envelope, please. Alright, there are word cards like this, alright? You have chasers, you have catches. Okay, all together, they are 20 each, okay? There will be 20 plus cards in the, in the envelope, alright? Now, what I want you to do is, in your groups, you need to arrange the word cards to form simple sentences for each of the picture. Okay, the first one is given to you already as example. Moving on to my next activity is the group work. So basically, for the group work, what the students need to do is actually, uh, they have to use, they have to put the word cards in order to form meaningful sentences based on the pictures given as well. So it's actually part of cooperative learning where students can actually help each other to actually help each other to understand the concept subject, verb and object. Alright, now let's check the answers together. Look at this one. Okay, a man carries boxes. Yes, carries, carries, like this, carries, alright. Next, a woman makes a cow. This is good. Okay, next. A waiter serves drinks. Okay? A boy borrows a book. A woman calls a boy. A man climbs mountain. Can a mountain climb a man? No. Alright. Next. A man waits for a bus. A man arranges books. Look at this card, okay? Now, you see, to construct a sentence in English, you just need to know the verb first, the action words. All right. Can someone, okay, together, brushes, brushes? That's the verb, brushes. Okay. Uh, show me, hmm, climb, climb. Okay, good. So you need to know the verb first and then you can construct the sentences. All right. Is this hard for you? Is this hard for you? Yes, okay. Yes or no? no? No, I hope not. Okay, so we have two winners here, group four and group one. So give them a big round of applause. Thank you, group four. Where's group four? Yeah, group one. Good job, okay. The rest of you, never mind. You'll be given something else as well later. I also created a sense of urgency by making the activity itself as part of a small competition. Because if not, students, they don't feel that there's a, there's a need to finish the activity. Alright, this one is individual work, okay? For the second task, you just need to construct sentence, a sentence for each of the given picture, mm -hmm. alright? Okay, help me to distribute this to your friends. Okay, for this one, you need to construct a sentence for each of the picture, okay? Now, look at the first one. Who would like to try? Any volunteer? First sentence, okay? It's okay if you get it wrong. Okay, before you go, leave your screen. Okay, every one of you, look at the screen. Okay? A children run in a three-legged race. Okay, children means all of you all of you okay children so it's actually plural more than one libyasri can you make correction libyasri can you erase a okay can you put the children all right that's better so the children run in a three legged race is a correct sentence give her a big round of applause thank you libyasri okay let's look at ali's sentence 
Okay, a boy spinning a hula hoop. Mm, yes, I have to admit that it's also almost a correct sentence. Okay, give Ali a big round of applause. Alright. Just, I will use this. A boy spins a hula hoop. Alright. I repeat, a girl plays jump rope with her friends. Okay, give this guy a big round of applause for coming up with a very good sentence. Good job. The activity we like most is the the verb and the uh, we got we we have to do the sentences. Uh, it was very um, fun and uh, I like it. Today I learned about an action word which is verb. And we ha we do some fun activities like we were doing a group of five and we pa we were pasting word cards into a money locket and we were doing the action. I I really enjoy the class because it's really fun to learn about work. Class, look at me. Look at me. All right, stand. Okay, now clap once, clap twice, clap thrice. Okay, look at me, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, fly, catch, jump, run, sleep, shout hooray. hooray. All right, remember, those are action. Words, action word known as verbs. Okay, to construct a sentence, you need a subject, a verb, and an object. Alright, okay class, that's it for today. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye, thank you.